everyone. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents. It's time for tea with Deborah. I don't mean like spilling the tea. It's not that kind of channel, but I mean drinking some tea. Now, before I get to the tea portion, do you want to let you know this is crochet? It was crocheted by me. Uh, this is my version of the America Tank Top by Omelette Crochet with Jean. I will try to either link up here or link down there. Link somewhere. You'll see it down there. Um, I made it big and boxy and comfy out of a uh, comfy cotton blend. That's what it was. Hello, Dane Bramage. Uh, but for the tea, I decided to bust into my November teas from Sips By. By the way, not sponsored. Um, I subscribe to the Sips By thing where you get some teas every month just to try out some new stuff. And I absolutely love it. It's a lot of fun. Today's tea is going to be by the Savoy Tea Company. It's called Pumpkin Muffin. Ingredients include Chinese black tea, white chocolate chips, uh, freeze-dried carrot pieces, I find that interesting, cinnamon pieces, natural and artificial flavor. To steep, it says uh, one teaspoon of tea, this is loose tea, for eight ounces of water at 208 degrees, that's Fahrenheit, um, and steep four to five minutes. So what I have done is, because the mug that I am using today, which is my Lisa Ladybird Loves a Beanie mug. Yes, that is Beanie. That is her kitty. She's adorable. Um, it's a 12 ounce mug. So I have actually done a measure of a teaspoon and a half in one of these nifty little disposable um, tea bags that you get. If you don't have a tea ball or don't want to fiddle with it, Put it in one of these little disposable tea bags. It's awesome. And the way that I keep my tea bag string from going into the cup, um, I hook this cute little kitty clothespin that I have onto it. And then I can set it on the table or on the saucer next to it. It gives plenty of slack for the bag, but doesn't let the cup consume it. And then you have to fish it out. That's just me. It is steeping right now. There is a timer set when the beeper goes off and technically it's ready for drinking. I just wanted to get all the, the bits and bobs out of the way first. Now, as far as Sips by, like I said, not affiliated, they get, they personalize it for you. You answer a bunch of questions about what you like, what you don't like, this, that, and the other, and they send stuff for you. Uh, this one says, happy November, Deborah. This beautiful month pulls us further into these cozy fall vibes. There couldn't be a better time to curl up with a blanket and a warm cuppa, and we hope you love your teas this month. Share a pic of your Sips by box with us to enter to win a free month. I still haven't done that. I don't know why I'm posting videos, but I'm not sharing pictures. And how to tag it and this, that, and the other. And you get four different teas, and they also tell you uh, the caffeine content of it, uh, whether it's low caffeine, no caffeine, and that sort of thing. Because you can choose what caffeine content. I said any. Give me all the things, I'll try it all. And this one that I'm trying today is Pumpkin Muffin Sips by Savoy Tea Company. Tells you what I read you from the other label. It says, high caffeine, and I'm gonna have to take my glasses off to read this. Take a sip of this tea and you'll be transported to a pumpkin patch, sitting on a giant pumpkin, eating a pumpkin muffin. I I'm on board with that part. It's your own little pumpkin world in a cup of tea. I am going to sweeten mine after I give it a little taste because I almost always drink my tea with some sweetener. That's just how I like it. We all have different tastes. And after I taste it that way, I'm also going to add a little bit of flavored creamer, a little vanilla creamer to it uh, because I think that'll probably be awesome in a tea like this. And this one does say high caffeine. Good thing it's early in the day when I'm recording this one this time. My other teas this month are low caffeine, caffeine free, and medium caffeine. So you, you, there's a big assortment in there. This comes mailed, by the way, in a cool little box. The mailing label is on the bottom, and then you open it and you flip it up. It's a nice sturdy little box that you can use for other things. That was the beep. That was the timer, which tells me that my tea is ready. I mean, it's probably too hot for me to take a sip of because I cannot handle the super hot heat on my mouth, but I don't want to oversteep it. So let's get this tea bag out of here. See if I can do this without making a mess. No guarantees. Look at that. Oh, you can see there 
where the carrot pieces and stuff have kind of rehydrated. That's very, very cool. Okay. Let's hold this left-handed this time so y'all can see Beanie. Mmm. It smells nice. I mean, because it is a black tea base, which I love. Um, but I don't get pumpkin out of it, certainly. Let's take... Have to cool it off. I tell you... If I take a sip of this that's super hot, it'll probably blister parts of my mouth, which is not good. Mmm. That has a nice flavor. Um, itchy nose. It does smell just warm and warming, but it doesn't have any overpowering scent of any of the things that you read that are in it. Um, I'm not getting a wash of cinnamon. I'm not getting pumpkin muffin out of this. It's nice, but it's not pumpkin muffin. And yeah, it does need the sweetener. The sweetener that I add, I add stevia, um, the generic, the Walmart brand of it. I do have diabetes. I try not to have the sugars, you know, because otherwise I have to dose for it. And who wants to waste the insulin? Little stir around with that. Oh, and you know, Beanie the sweet little super kitty of Ladybird Loves channel, uh, who I will have linked below as well. These are also made by her. You see these awesome earrings? Now I know this is the life and stuff portion of crochet life and stuff, but what yarn person, crocheter, knitter, whatever in your life would not want these? Technically they're stitch markers, but you know, these are made with sterling silver lever backs. Why would I not wear them as earrings? I'm just saying. Just saying. Okay. We've got a little sweetener added in there. Let's give this a taste. Still too hot for me to sip from the cup. It's, yeah. Okay. Yes, the sweetener does it for me. It's not a ton of sweetener. I don't add, like, you know, half a cup of sugar to it or anything. I don't know that this would make a nice iced tea or cold tea. But as a hot tea, yeah, I'm liking it. Gosh, I want to sip it so badly. And I am going to add some of the creamer to this. Not much left in this container. It's like adding milk with, you know, a little something something added to it. For those of you who are not aware of the creamers. I know, I don't think they're very popular over the pond, but I like them. I think that little bit of vanilla will go nicely with the tea as well. See, and it does change it up, like, like you put milk in it. It needed that. It really did. Um, this is an enjoyable cup of tea. I'm really liking it. I said it would not make a good iced tea I don't think just the flavors it's kind of deceiving in that it says you know pumpkin muffin I've had pumpkin muffins and pumpkin bread and pumpkin everything because I kind of like pumpkin and all the pumpkin spice things that go with it this doesn't remind me of pumpkin um, I mean it's good but it doesn't remind me of pumpkin so a little let down by that um, would I go out and buy this particular tea again I don't know. I would drink it if it's there, but I don't know that I would run off and buy it. Um, there have been some that, yeah, I'm, I'm on board. As far as the caffeine goes, we'll see. By the end of this, I'll be bouncing off the walls of the house, and uh, won't that be fun? I don't have a lot of caffeine. I'm not a big soda drinker. I don't even drink a lot of coffee when I drink coffee. It's usually, it ends up being about half to two thirds of a, of a cup, one of these size cups or larger because, you know, we don't have regular size cups around here. Um, but yeah, I am, I want to look at Beanie this time because my Oscar is over there crunching. So we'll look at Lisa's little Miss Beanie first. Mm. There's always time to have a, a cup of tea. Even if you're running around like a fool, trying to get things done, steep the tea, set a timer so you don't forget it and let make it get bitter. And enjoy. Take a few minutes for yourself. 
seriously. Especially this month. Everybody's got so much to do. Just take some time. Trust me, you deserve it. You need it. At least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> anyway, I do thank you for coming by and having a cup of tea with me. And um, we'll do it again next week and see what uh, this, this November tea box shows us. Yes, I have Decembers already. I'm always late on everything. So, so you know, we will try some of those others and see exactly what we think. Thank you. I'd love it if you were subscribed, if you're not already. Um, please hit the like button on your way out. And I'd love if you left me a comment. Have you tried this Savoy Tea Company before? What do you think about pumpkin muffin that doesn't actually taste like pumpkin muffins? Hmm. And, uh, yeah. High caffeine. Oh, and by the way, this says this was blended and packaged by Savoy Tea Company in Fayetteville, Arkansas. But the tea itself is Chinese black tea. So there you go. And this is a 10 gram sample that you get in here is what it says, which it should make even with my large mugs, a couple of more mugs of tea. So that's good to know. See y'all very soon. Bye now.